Welcome to another segment of Hoops and Areas Do You Know? I'm Dan Walder, John Greer Principal. I've been in this position 10 years. Today's topic is the Chromebook Pilot at John Greer Grade School. About a year ago, the district's one-to-one -one technology committee met and continued to meet for about a year to decide what type of device to bring to our students for a one-to-one -one pilot. In the end, we chose a Chromebook manufactured by Dell that has an Intel processor. Besides being a cost-efficient model, one of the benefits of the Chromebook is that it has a four to five second start time. It is also very portable, weighing only approximately three pounds. The keyboard is a decent size for even adult fingers and the screen size is 11.6 inches. The decision was made to purchase 130 of these devices to place into four classrooms at John Greer Grade School. Four teachers volunteered to be part of that pilot, Mrs. Zick in the sixth grade, Ms. Freeman in the fifth grade, Ms. Lyman in the fifth grade, and Mrs. White in the fifth grade. In addition to purchasing 130 of these devices, we also purchased five docking stations to place in the classrooms. Stations, of course, are under lock and key. Students can easily insert their Chromebook into each location where it can be plugged in for charging. Whenever we start an initiative of this magnitude, it's always good to be purpose driven. We developed three purposes to drive this particular pilot at John Greer. First purpose of bringing Chromebooks to our students is the same purpose that really we use for every educational initiative and that is we want to en engage students in a higher manner in their learning. The second purpose of bringing Chromebooks to John Greer is we want to expose our students in a fuller measure to consuming, creating, and publishing digital content on a regular basis. Then the third purpose of our pilot was established. We would like teachers to move from substituting technology to really modifying and redefining their classrooms with the use of Chromebooks. Now what do we mean by that? When a teacher substitutes technology, what they're doing is they're saying, well, instead of a student writing a piece of paper, we'll have them use the Chromebook and type it. That's fine, that's a good use of technology, but what we'd really like to see is for teachers to modify and completely redefine their classrooms. And by that we mean taking a Chromebook and exposing students, for instance, to online experts, or using Chromebooks to increase collaboration between students in the classroom. I'll give some examples of that a little later. To prepare for our Chromebook pilot, we had to take several steps. The first was to address any infrastructure needs that we might have. Our tech department in the district did a fabulous job of preparing us for Chromebook Pilot. We have had absolutely no connectivity issues in our building and our bandwidth has been very adequate to supply our needs. We also had to prepare our students and our parents for the Chromebook Pilot and one thing that we created to do that was a Chromebook agreement. This agreement defined who would be the owner of the device, who would be responsible for the device, and it also defined norms of digital citizenship, norms that we want students to follow when they are accessing the internet, sending emails, etc. Let's now talk a little bit about how a Chromebook works. Unlike a laptop, a Chromebook does not have any significant hard drive. Rather, it's a device that gives our students access to the internet and specifically access to Google Apps for Education. We can also give permission to different classrooms or groups of students to download a variety of apps on the devices. But the main apps that our students use within the Google community are Google Docs, which is a word processor, Google Sheets, which is a spreadsheet, and Google Slides, which is a presentation software. However, the real power in using the Chromebook and Google Apps for Education comes in the aspect that students have the ability to share documents with each other. So let me give you two examples. When we say share, what we really mean is that a teacher can assign two students or a group of students 
to work on a project, and those students can use their Chromebooks, they can be in two completely different settings, and they can be working on the same document, the same spreadsheet, the same presentation, the same Word document. And they can work on those things at the same time. So much like we have in the business community, Chromebooks are allowing us to increase student-to-student -student collaboration through the sharing feature of Google Apps for Education. In addition to that, along the same lines, students can share their documents that they're working on with their teachers, which then leads us to more of a paperless classroom. Student can complete their work. As the students are working on it, the teacher in real time can actually see the work electronically that students are doing, and they can comment or give feedback on that work. At the end, the student can share the final piece with the teacher or email the, the piece to the teacher. The teacher can grade it, send it back, no paper is ever printed. Both of these are examples of how Chromebooks are redefining and modifying the traditional classroom. Well, what have the teachers said about Chromebooks in their classroom? They have indicated that there are five major advantages to Chromebooks. The first one is Chromebooks have helped them with classroom management and has definitely increased student engagement. According to Ms. Lyman, they've eliminated those 10-minute gaps of time when there wasn't much that could be done. Now students can pull out their Chromebooks and work on a specific skill that I've assigned to them. Mrs. Zick added to that, Chromebooks make students much more enthusiastic about writing. My students are much more engaged and enjoying school more because of the Chromebooks. The second big advantage is what we've already alluded to in the area of collaboration. Mrs. White commented, the students have shared their writing documents with me so I am able to read and comment on their writing without carrying home 25 notebooks. Additionally, I'm able to comment on student work privately while I'm across the room working with another student. The third major benefit that our teachers are finding is that it helps them differentiate instruction to individual students. Ms. Freeman said, it is so easy to differentiate their learning. We do a lot of review activities that they can work on at their own pace, such as place value, prime factorization, etc. The fourth benefit that teachers are seeing in their classroom is the use of online resources. According to Mrs. White, when a question comes up in class that I don't have the answer for, we can practice finding reliable websites to find the answer. And the fifth big benefit that's been mentioned by our teachers is communication. According to Mrs. Zick, I've created a classroom blog. Open-ended science questions are posted to the class, and students respond during free time. Our teachers have been extremely complimentary about the benefits of Chromebooks in their classrooms. We brought in two students here to get the student perspective on Chromebooks. We have Alyssa in the sixth grade. She's in Mrs. Zick's classroom. We have Nick in the fifth grade. He's in Ms. Freeman's classroom. We'll start with Nick. Nick, what are Chromebooks used for in your classroom? Chromebooks are used for in my classroom for science slides, presentations on ecosystems. We have three to four students per group working at the same time trying to figure out what to, how to make this slide look good. We use them for, to practice for history and then after that we'll be ready to take our test the next day. We use them for writing papers. We had a music project for Quaver Music. We had to compose a song at least 12 measures long. We use them for math games, math cap games. We use them to learn to type. We can also communicate with our teachers by emails. When we have questions about homework, they can send us some tips about how, to, how we, they can help us. So you use Chromebooks for many applications in your classroom? Yes. Alyssa, how are Chromebooks helping you learn in the sixth grade? Chromebooks help us learn important information faster. For example, we're currently working on creating a first person presentation on historical characters, why characters are important. So I've been able to use a Chromebook to do a lot of my research. Libraries have great information, but Chromebooks help allow us to get the information quicker. We place some educational things and learn so much. For instance, we participated in an hour of code to show us how computer programs work. We often use this website to review information before tests and we can show fun. 
So would you say Chromebooks have had a significant impact on your learning? Yes. Nick, what do you enjoy the most about using Chromebooks in the classroom? The thing I enjoy most about using Chromebooks is I get to do presentations and I get to work with my friends and I, I really like it, organizing all the facts and the pictures on the slides. And Alyssa, how about you? What do you enjoy the most about Chromebooks? I enjoy writing essays because we can share these with other students and with our teacher. Then we give each other feedback on what has been written. So would you both say that Chromebooks have changed your educational experience? Yes. Thank you. In conclusion, we have had a very successful pilot of Chromebooks at John Greer Grade School, and we look forward to expanding this pilot to every classroom next year. At Hoopston Area, we continue to expect more by providing our students with a learning experience that will prepare them for college, career, and life.